program. Today, though, Tommy is going to share how we can maintain our energy every day and decrease our stress levels with his Rocky Top 10 Tips to Shred Wellness. So please join me in welcoming Tommy Yura. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you. So we all know that exercising and eating well is going to make our lives a lot better. It's going to make us perform better. It's going to make us smarter, not as tired, not as lazy, and going to make us a lot more productive. Yet we don't do it. Why? <laughs> see, I was reading your mind. You see how I prompted you on that one? So. Tip number one is overcoming the excuses. We all have them, we all use them. I use them from time to time. What's one of the biggest excuses that you've used or you've heard? Time. No time. So, a show of hands, I know there's a mix here, so some of you are in your second to fifth year working on the train, some of you are fresh newbies. So who's been working on the train for the last, you know, anywhere between two and five years? All right, how much time do you get when you're traveling? Not much. So when we get off the train at night. When you get off the train at night? Yeah. Okay. Anywhere from 5 p.m. to 12 a.m. Okay. So would you say that you do not have time? No. No, we have time. Don't have the energy. We do, but we've also been working. There's another one. So we have no time. I squashed that one. Newbies, you guys do have time. You just have to make time. And I'm going to show you some different ways that you can do that. Somebody else shut it over there, no energy. You guys are on your feet all day long. You guys might as well enjoy this. Like today has been awesome because you guys get to sit down. Once you start working, you're gonna be dying to sit down. You're gonna be on your feet all day, which is very tiring, but there are ways that you can use it to your advantage. And it starts right from day one, right from the beginning. So, no energy. What does exercise do? <laughs> See, I don't even have to be here. <laughs> Who's got another excuse? Lazy? Lazy? <laughs> Too, tired. Too tired? Well, if you guys are, are going to do your job very well as hosts and be talking to guests all day, all night, even when you're tired, you have to summon, uh, sum up some kind of energy. So you are going to need energy. So if you're lazy, it's not going to work. You gotta pump it up a little bit, all right? Somebody said something about money. Money? money? Finances, yes. Finances? Come on up here, come on up here. <laughs> I have to bring him up here because as I walked in... No, you're good. All right, cool. There you have know, to tell me your name Jameson. again. Jameson. Jameson. So Jameson is the host of the year. Another big hand for Jameson. <laughs> One day you too can be right up here with me and Jameson, all right? So, you said no money. money. What do you need money for? Gym, gym membership. Gym equipment. membership, equipment. Yeah. You don't need equipment. Now today, you're gonna be one of my, uh, one of my subjects, all right. and I'm gonna need somebody else, not right now, but he's gonna be one, because I'm gonna show you what you can do without money, without equipment, to get yourself in better shape in little to no time at all. So do you, do you wanna pick somebody, or do you want me to pick somebody? Go to town. You Go to town? Yep. Do I have any volunteers? So when I call you up, paper, rock, scissors. One or two out of three. <laughs> Who won? And what's your name? Katie? Okay, I'm going to have Jameson and Katie up here in a little bit. Thank you very much. I'll be back. Give them a big hand. You're going to see them soon. Shred is an acronym for strength, heart, resilience, efficiency, and discipline. And if you apply those five attributes to anything that you guys do, you're going to be successful. Obviously, I push this towards more of the health and the fitness side, but it goes for, uh, towards your jobs as well. Because you're going you're gonna to have to be strong mentally and physically to do this job. You guys have five hard months 
uh, coming up ahead of you. So the better care you take care of yourself, the better off you're going to be. You're going to need heart because you are going to have to pour everything into it because there's going to be days where you're just not feeling it. Today is awesome because it's day one, everybody's happy, everybody's excited, but after a little while it does start to drag on you. And I'm going to show you some different things that you can use to cope with that. You are going to have to be resilient because, again, things are not always going to go your way. Things are not always going to be perfect. There's going to be situations where you're just going to have to make it happen. You're going to have to work harder than the next person. Or you're going to have to battle to kind of overcome whatever is bothering you. You're going to have to be efficient. For those of you, I don't have to tell the veterans this, but you know, I've been on the train. Uh, Natalie and Charlie sat me up there and I saw some of your close quarters and your nice tight spiral t staircases. <laughs> and you know, so if you are, you know, you're going to have to be efficient in what you're doing because you have to move fast. You can't leave your guests waiting for anything. Um, your job is to deliver top-notch service, so you have to be good at that. And you have to be disciplined. Um, the more disciplined you are, the better off you're going to be, so that at the last day of the job, you're going to be feeling fresh. Yes, you're going to need a break, but you're not going to be completely run down, because that's not good for anybody. It's not good for uh, Rocky Mountaineer, it's not good for you guys doing your job, and ultimately it's not good for your health. So you're going to have to be disciplined in what you are doing. And I'm going to show you some different ways that you can use to kind of make that transition a little bit easier. So, next, we're going to set the stage. We're doing Tommy, you're a pair. I'm about to board the train. I'm about to give you guys some important details so that you can always stay healthy, stay fit, and stay energized. That's the most important part because you have to have energy, correct? You got a lot to do. I got a lot to do. Let's get started. <laughs> 